How's it going guys? Like we said, next time you'd see us, we'd be in California. Behind me is Lake Isabella. I'll never complain about Lake Mead being dry again. That was the launch at this lake that we're visiting. And no longer exists. The lake barely even exists. It's crazy. But after this storm and millions of dollars worth of damage, this is Lake Isabella today. Look at this. Almost completely topped off. First time in 30 something years. Crazy. Mother Nature came back and just said, Gah! And we're out here for the trout fishing derby. There's a couple fish in there that are tagged worth $10,000 and a couple $5,000 fish. And there's going to be over $60,000. See, it's already raining on me. $60,000 worth of fish swimming around in that lake. We got raindrops <laughs> getting on the camera already. This is actually the end of the trip. So I'll show you a couple clips of us out there actually trying to catch fish. The problem is it has been storming. Well, someone said there was trout out here. <laughs> It's raining on us. It's raining hard out here, guys. It's like 35 degrees, freezing cold. It's raining. And we're just going to grind it out for a couple more hours. And if we don't catch the $10,000 fish, we're just going to have to stay broke. Yeah, stay broke forever. Juju's going to have to sell a house and make up for the cash, I guess. Hopefully. His, his whole plan was to come up with this trout, $10,000 worth dead out here yeah all right we're headed out it's still just pouring down rain as you guys can see this is why we're not out there fishing the whole lake is real windy and rainy so we're gonna go check in at the headquarters and just see what they got going on over there everyone's saying they're doing raffles and stuff so we're gonna go check it out We've made it to the headquarters. What's it? Eagles? The Eagles Lodge, I guess. We'll go check in and see what they got going on. Maybe they'll show pictures of people that caught the big fish and stuff. Woo! We're gonna get soaked before we even get in there. So we're right here at the headquarters where everybody's checking in. Somebody's about to check in and we're gonna show you the process of checking in the fish. You bring it to this building and if it has a little tag on it, they check the board to match the number and tell you the amount of money you're gonna win. There's a prize with 10,000, uh, a couple 5,000, thousands, 500, you know, all the way down. So someone's gonna check in right now. Let's check out the process. So what was your name? I'm Fred. Fred? Fred Roach. Nice to meet you. This right here is the 500, list of the 500 tags that are in the lake. So somebody comes in like, we'll do this one right here. They had number 200, they won $500. Wow. Um, Look at that one. Yeah, this one right here, 092, won $5,000. And this is, these are all the codes correspond with all the dollar amount. There's 500. Oh, that's the one we were looking for right there, 305? <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that one would be nice. 197 would be nice. This is a bobber bowl. Catch a hundred dollar fish, come in, pull a bobber out. It's got a number on it. It coincides with this. <clears throat> this person right here drew number seven. So they won, instead of a hundred dollars, they won two hundred dollars. Oh, nice. Yeah. So my nice little surprise. And this chart here is for the longest trout caught in the derby. Okay. So far, the longest trout is 24 and three quarter inches long. Weighed over five pounds. It was huge. You want to show me that right here? One of the guys stars. That's how big it was, right there. Big fish. And then this right here is just a fax of the Isabel Lake fishing. So you guys have sixty-three thousand dollars into this thing? Oh yeah. That's that's how much we're paying for tag trout, early bird prizes, blind bogey. Right there. That's all. All right. Okay. Well, thank, thank you for the information. Did you get the map? No. This is, this is a map of Lake Isabella, of course, not to scale. And it just gives the anglers an idea of where the fish are being caught. The yellow dots are the fish that were caught yesterday. The red dots are what's been brought in and been caught today. Okay. We ask each person, hey, where did you catch the fish? This one right here, for example, it was on a, in a boat, so we can't, we just 
guess right in there because that's the closest landmark he was. But that's the five thousand dollar fish. Oh wow! It was caught there. We we went across right here, and we had really rough weather, so we turned around right there. Well, my son was saying that he thought it was going to be on that edge right Yes, there. sir. <laughs> yes, sir. You were close. Wow. Well, thank you for the information. You bet. Appreciate it. You bet. Did you see where they caught the five thousand? Yeah, yeah. That's right where I wanted to fish, but the weather blew us off. Somewhere along here. I'm not going to tell you exactly where. Is where we planted all the tagged fish. And then they move all. They they travel all over the lake. Mm -hmm. How big do you think the one is that's 10,000? Probably 15 inch or 20 inch? You know, I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> all the tag fish come from the uh, Calaveras trout hatcher. Oh, okay. okay. They tag them up there, they put them in the truck, and then uh, they come up and we dump them in the lake. So they could be anywhere from here to here. Do you mind if we come this Right here. Now, she caught it. Emily caught it. Your registration card, please. Okay. Whoa. We got a fish being checked in right here. This is awesome. I hope it's a 10,000. Okay, now. 229. 229. Oh, I stand in front of her right there. Oh, yay. $50? Yes. $50. Awesome. We should have came here on day one to understand how it was. Yeah, we should have. We caught some big ones. $2,000. Yeah. $2,000 catch. $10,000. Well, somebody actually caught the 10 29 It's a pretty nice setup they have in there. Yeah, it is. Yep. That's they, cool. They're all nice people, too. So They have it on. Well, our, our mistake, to be honest, is not coming here before the tournament. Yeah, we didn't know the rules. We're catching a little trout and releasing them, and we didn't know that if you don't catch a tagged fish, you can actually put in for prizes. Yeah, the blind bogey and all that stuff where you could still win something. So yeah. we didn't know that. So we're letting, we're letting fish go and stuff. You know, We only wanted the, the tagged ones, but it's all good next year. Welcome to the biggest trailer you ever seen in your life. <laughs> well, this is my friend Romeo's trailer. I'll introduce you to him in a minute. But he was like, yeah, let's meet at Isabella. Let's go out there and fish. He brought the trailer. We brought the boat. And we were thinking we were going to come live in like a little piece of junk. And he shows up with this thing. Look at this thing. Big screen TVs. This is like cribs right here. Yeah, it's got a whole island going All on too. Turn turned to sofas. He, look at this. this. Have you ever seen this? Th this is actually a spare bedroom right here. Now you guys are recording this place is a mess. <laughs> <laughs> this is a spare bedroom and that turns into an actual bed. But this is Romeo. I've known him since high school. What's up guys? Came out here and we did some fishing. He was the only one to catch a fish so we're happy. <laughs> I don't care. You guys know I catch a lot of fish. We brought him out. He caught a fish. You're going to see how big it is in a minute. It was massive. <laughs> <laughs> Romeo might have the $10,000 fish. Oh, he got him. He got him. Oh. No way. Let it sit. Maybe he's following. Romeo has another bite. He must have a secret weapon right here. He'll take it. He still got it. Yeah. He has it. He has it. There it is. There it is. There it is. He's good. He's good. <laughs> Go. There it is, there it is. Please be a trout. Oh, it's a bluegill. Yep. Oh, it's a, no. Oh, it is it's a, a trout. trout. Please have a tag on it. <laughs> Does it? You better go to dirt, buddy. That's what we came Let's for. Put it really close. The biggest fish ever. <laughs> no tag. No tag. You might be the new uh, Lake Lakers. <laughs> yeah. If you're in the Oxnard area. He owns a Taekwondo studio. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Legacy Martial Arts. Look us up, OxnardMartialArts.com. When we were in high school, he became a black belt in Taekwondo. It was funny because throughout the years, you know, we've kept in contact. Second degree, third degree, fourth degree, now fifth degree. He just looks at you and you feel the punch. <laughs> <laughs> Soon to be sixth degree, right? Yeah, God willing, I stay healthy. So mm -hmm. We'll see you this summer. That's the goal. Heck yeah. Dang, it's pouring out there now. We got in right at the right time. Sounds like some real rain's coming down. Those guys are out there playing cornhole with the 
the rain. They say it helps the bag slide a little better. <laughs> Man, it's funny because we tried to cross the lake and we got caught in a big old storm. I was like, pull out the camera. You guys know how it gets at Lake Mead. It, it was about like Lake Mead. The front was bouncing, water's coming in all over. We're just completely soaked. By the time we got to fishing, we were just already Your frozen. So Fingers are just solid as a yeah. rock. So you guys want to look at this boat next to us. Look, they're all, everyone's running yeah, right now. <laughs> running. Tarps are blowing off of boats. Yeah, so whoever planned this, I mean, you can't help it because you planned it, you know, two, three months, four or five years in advance or whatever, but somebody did catch one of the $5,000 fish. Up. Yeah, and then a couple hundred dollar here and there tagged fish. So that's cool. So right over here, check this out. Got some stairs up to a loft. You got about a two foot clearance there which is nice you know just sleep right there beautiful restroom this is one of the biggest showers i've ever seen for these things huge it's like an apartment shower in new york and you have a nice toilet usually toilets aren't those big ones very nice master bedroom got one machine out there getting all wet it's pretty cool living we gotta get one of these yeah we call it sin city indoors yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right man film us going. Hi, bro. We'll see you later. Yep. Right. Next time, where are we going? Lake Mead? Yeah. I won't, yeah. Bring, my, I won't bring my boat. All right. We'll get it broken in. I got a new boat, so we'll get it broken in. Yeah, I gotta use it sometime. All right. Drive <laughs> safe, man. We'll see you later. Later. We're heading out. The tournament, not the tournament, but the derby is going to be over tomorrow. We're just not going to stay till the end. We just passing by like always, visiting different spots. I'm not sure what's going on here, but we stopped to check it out. This is the entrance right here going to Lake Isabella. And it looks like some type of overflow. The river is so low. I don't know how the water ended up up there. Hey, is there a cattle farm around here? Do you smell it? It smells what? like cows. <laughs> Somehow we ended up in Tehachapi, California. So we stayed the night here. This is my grandparents' house. Look at their view. Amazing, right? It's been snowing out here. It was actually snowing a lot last night, but a lot of it melted off. Out there at Lake Isabella, fishing was not good. <laughs> we ended up leaving. Weather wasn't good enough to make us want to stay either. So uh, we decided to come out here and hang out with some family. And then it turns out, I guess we got invited to go to Pismo Beach, California. <laughs> so. You guys are just kind of following along with us as we figure out what we're doing. I honestly have no clue. I didn't even really plan at all to end up going to the beach. We didn't bring anything for that. So uh, we're going to end up going to Pismo Beach in California and uh, staying out there for a couple days. Maybe doing some fishing, maybe just a little bit of partying, maybe just hanging out. I don't know. So uh, it's about a four hour drive from here. So we got a little drive ahead of us, but we'll see how that works out. All right, so we're out here. Adrian's baiting little pieces of bait, squid and stuff on his tiny little, it's what's a, it called? It's a sabiki rig. Sabiki rig? Sabiki rig, so we're gonna try it out. All I'm doing is getting each one of these little hooks on the sabiki rig and tipping it with a little bit of squid or shrimp or whatever we think they might bite. Then we're gonna cast it in the waves. We're even gonna try worms, right? Yep. We're using shrimp squid and we're gonna try worms i don't know if it'll work out here in the ocean but we're gonna try it anyway. we've also got clams we got everything so it's super windy out here but we're gonna try our luck we're out here after some surf perch i've got a whole buffet on a sabiki rig i think this will work that's what their sand would work out here got squid mussels and shrimp so we're just gonna fish shallow where the rolls turn cast this down there and see if they'll get bit there's no way you I'm get coming. a bite yeah 30 seconds. Yeah, they're biting it down there. But by, by that pole over there, I keep getting bites, but they're not hooking, so I honestly don't know what they are. If I recast over there, they'll bite it. Here, look, feel it, feel it. Just so I know I'm not going crazy. It might be the waves. No, it's not the waves, though. It's 100% a fish. That, that's a fish. Adrian's over there trying, right next to those pillars. He's, he's getting bites. We don't know what it is, but 
they're pretty small maybe six inches eight inches juju's broke the skunk <laughs> you didn't even know you had him didn't even know i had him went to switch spots getting mad the spot sucks and then sure enough what oh, is that, that like one of those uh mackerel or something <laughs> that looks like one of those little what what were they calling them i don't know we'll pull up a chart but definitely never seen that before is it edible i don't know i would assume so but it's one of those little like bait fish in a way should I go try catching a shark? Yeah, throw him on one of the hooks. <laughs> uh, I don't think we're gonna eat that. Nah, yeah. he don't look like he tastes good to be uh, honest. He, he did. <laughs> Got another one. Well, you caught another little smell. They got tiny little mouths. Yeah. Where's all the perch at? I don't know, but I see a... Uh, oh. A weirdo. <laughs> you can end up hitting him with your weight. <laughs> so we were out at the pier. Did some fishing, fished for a few hours, but I uh, didn't catch much. There wasn't a whole lot going on at the pier. Nobody was really catching. So, going back to the camping area. This camping area is pretty neat. Where my in-laws are camped, they're probably, I would say, 200 yards from the, the ocean. It smells beautiful out here. Look at this place. This place is amazing. Plenty of space for the kids to run around over there restroom showers everything so we're right here hanging out cook some carne asada do the campfire thing just hanging out with family so right here is my in-laws rig it's pretty nice setup they got the 350 point let's go check out camp got the double hondas scooby what's up scooby you ready to grab you? Yep. Hungry. That's what I'm talking Thank about. Thank you. Let me get one. Oh, are you filming? Yeah. We got, we got some. the old smoky. Old smoky moonshine cherries cooking. Look at that. Right, this one's for you. Oh, <laughs> well, here, I got a. <laughs> carrying a fish you left in the car. Just pull it off. Right here in Pismo, at the camping grounds here in Pismo. We were just fishing. He's holding one of the little things we caught. They'll smelt. I can already tell you it's smelling and they're not going to be a good eating fish. They're going to be oily, but smells we'll good see. fish. Is it? Yeah, we used to um, dip for them in Washington oh, out there, the river. There's oh, a smell really? right well, there. There it is. Good. There's three of them. Got one right here in my hand. Oh, they're really good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get them cooked up. Oh. The burgers wasn't cutting it. They're kind of small, so got some masala right there. Juju, I don't know you know how to cook. Let's go. Yep. Is that that uh, carne asada? Yeah, I was gonna. I thought it was in pieces, but it's one big piece. Oh, even better. <laughs> so we're not gonna end up cooking those little smelt. We'll cook them later. Everyone's chilling. Everyone's about to be grabbing. All thanks to Juju right here, Romeo. Bought the meat. We didn't have time to cook it. Now he's gonna show off his cooking skills. All right. You guys ready for this? Let's do it. The sizzle test. Wow, that's a sizzle piece. That has to be one of the best towns ever since the last one. Mm -hmm. We were fishing out there at Pismo on the pier. Fishing was not that good, honestly. Nobody was catching anything. And we kept getting a bunch of these little nibbles. So, Senior throws on a sabiki rig or whatever they're called. Sabiki, sabiko rig, well, I can't remember. Starts catching these little herring. Not herring. Um, what are they called? Smelt. 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 We started catching the little smelt. We're gonna, yeah, we were hoping to catch perch. Huh? Yeah, we were hoping to catch the surf perch. Everyone says they're really, really good eating fish. And nobody was catching them. So, no bites, nothing. We fished for multiple hours today. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Dead zone. Now we're back here at the camp, chilling, getting ready to grub, and uh, just have a good night, you know, nice bonfire night. Juju over here, Chef Juju and real estate agent. I'll see. Juju's sales tactic for for selling homes is gonna be that he'll cook your first steak for you at your new house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you looking for a home in Las Vegas and you really like steak? Here's your guy. <laughs> I appreciate you guys watching this video. We were out there after a ten thousand dollar fish, which it didn't work out. There's mosquitoes. And got him. Hopefully he didn't fall in your cup right there. <laughs> but. We, we didn't catch, not a lot of people caught. Some people were catching, but we were in a boat, which in a way actually made it worse for us, I would say, than just fishing from the shore. 
because the one fish we did catch was from the shore after only sitting there for about five minutes but beautiful beautiful weather out here right now this morning kind of sucked last night kind of sucked but can't beat it right now it feels amazing this is probably one of the first fishing trips i've ever been on that i didn't catch a lot of fish or like any fish matter of fact i got skunked twice in a row but it's just how it works sometimes it's how it goes we're all about family getting out enjoying the outdoors and doing your thing so i really do appreciate you guys watching this video until next time thanks for watching and i'll see you outdoors what do you call an elephant and a rhino uh, <laughs> Uh, what is it? Elephant. <laughs> 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 <laughs>